What is going on YouTube? It is Printer here and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick little match between two awesome decks. We're going to have Ancient Garuru played by Isaac on the right and then we're going to have Dia Boromon played by Todd on the left. This is going to be just a quick little match. I'm going to start doing these one game little uploads here and there. I'll upload two a day when I do do this just because some matches that we get are some good matches that don't have best of threes and there's still some good games to get out here. But let's go ahead and get into this match. We are going to see that the bottom of the mats are cut a little bit which is a little bit unfortunate but we will be able to tell what's going on caramon's going to come out which is going to search both this errata and an unidentified going to go ahead and grab the same caramon to get some more search gomamon's going to promote digivolving on that will give it a good inheritable but it's just going to swing does live due to the caramon only being 2000 hammer sparks to go to three Looks like we're going to Ancient Garuru. I don't see any other reason why you do that. Swing once. Hit Shademon out of security and then use the Shademon to block. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't let it go through just considering that he could have had the Shademon on board for later Digimon as the Ancient Garuru is just going to die anyway. But actually we see the Aqua Viper return the Ancient Garuru to hand so it's actually better that he blocked there. Obviously, he didn't know that, but that was a good play. I was confused at, by it at first, but it did work out in the end. This Karamon does not hit the errata, but does have plenty of choices to hit from the identified stack. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the BT5 Infermon. Has a little bit more board development, especially now that we're digivolving into the Kurosarimon that's gonna allow Todd to play errata for free. He does have a Karamon in the grave, which means that he'll be gaining an extra memory at the start of the turn. Looks like Isaac's thinking he's at two memory. He's falling up behind on board a little bit. Has gotten two swings, which is pretty impactful. But the fact that there's two champions coming out with Errata coming out and a lot of memory development is going to make it so he might fall behind early is going to have to rush davis being out obviously is going to put on a lot of um Lobemon pressure double inframon out so we have double ultimate if we go into diaboramon here there could be a lot of um does memory gain i do believe so might be able to play a diaboramon for essentially not free but still be able to have it on the turn Oh, hits Izzy, gains the memory, which is going to pass turn. And that is huge because now Todd goes to guaranteed four memory. Promoting Inframon. Yeah, that Izzy is pretty impactful because being at four memory is going to change a lot, opposed to being at three memory. Considering that going into a Diaboromon, being able to summon the token is going to make it cheaper due to the memory gain. See what Todd decides to do. Plays another Arata going to one and then Diaboromon that's going to summon I believe three tokens which will gain three memory putting Todd back to one memory. Swings one check. Hits Gomamon. Isaac is now down to four security. And ultimate flare clears the board. That is pretty... That is looking really bad for Isaac now. Oh, and Toy Agumon gives Diaboramon reboot. So not only did he get all of that, but he gets to restand. So he can't even potentially swing over it. I'm not sure how Isaac's going to win here. He can't go into Ancient Gururu. Well, I guess now he can... No, because he can't go into Promo Lobomon and Ancient Guru would cost too much to devolve into, so he can't get the two attacks off. And now Davis is gone, which is going to shut off memory and make it so he can't Lobomon for future game swings. Looks like he's also missing a rookie, which is crazy because there's a lot of attacks in hand. Does just die next turn if nothing happens. He only has four security, there's five checks on board. Todd's going to go to five memory minimum is going to breath the Inframon. That makes more sense opposed to the Diaboromon because he would just play another one. 
So now he's not dead, but he is gonna go ahead. There's four swings to four checks. It's not looking good. There's only a Lobomon, no memory. First check. Okay, two checks. Looks like it's just swinging out. Three checks. Four checks. And Isaac just goes ahead and scoops up, or calls the game and concedes there. But that was a good little game. That was a fun little match with Diabormon. Like I said, when I'm going to be uploading these new shorter videos, and I'll be uploading two a day. So uh, make sure to check out the next short one-match video that we'll have later today. But I hope you enjoyed this quick match, and have a great day. Peace out.